Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is Mark. Today I'm going to be doing a science experiment, you could say. Trying to create different colors of patina on copper. I work with copper quite a bit and sometimes I like to put a patina on it, but it's hard to predict the color. So I'm kind of making a chart, if you will, using different uh, chemicals, not even chemicals, but things you find around the house and hopefully get different color results so I can use them in the future. So let's get to it. This is probably going to be a little confusing because I don't have enough room to lay everything out. So I have ammonia, apple cider vinegar, distilled white vinegar, Greek dressing, sea salt, Himalayan salt, Epsom salts, and regular rock salt. So the plan is I'm going to have a control with just the liquids and then from there I'm going to go, let's just take this as an example, white vinegar with sea salt and white vinegar with Himalayan salt and then white vinegar according and then do that with each of the liquids so I should have I think 24 combinations the reason for the Greek dressing is it contains vinegar I don't know why vinegar if it's because vinegar is basically an acid on its own will create patina but I know if it's vinegar and salt will do it so that's why we're trying the variations to see if there's any variation in color if that makes sense so I'm gonna mix all these up and label everything and then I'm gonna clean up uh, I cut just these one by one squares of copper sheet metal I believe it's 24 gauge also I'm putting two squares in each tub so I'm gonna have one with salt on it and the liquid and another with just the liquid mixture that has salt mixed in with it but not physically have the crystals on it because sometimes that creates big bumps and if I want a smooth surface that stuff will just flake off if you try to clear it off So I actually have 20, five for each of my liquid. Now I'm going to uh, clean up these pieces of sheet metal. I'm just gonna take a Scotch-Brite pad, scuff it up. Uh, you want the surface to be sort of like painting, scuffed up a little bit. Also, I'm gonna take some, uh, wherever I put it, alcohol spray, just wipe it down, get all the grease off, because anything that's got grease on it will not patina or if it does it's not going to get as good of results just some plastic spacers or something to set it on but I'm going to use this as my platform basically so if I put one tablespoon in of the liquid with the salt it'll just fill the perimeter and the center will be uh, free of liquid I don't want it under the fluid one tablespoon of liquid to one or a uh, half a tablespoon of the salts so I'll go ahead and mix those up I'll put the two pieces in I'm gonna put one piece just coat it with the liquid salt mixture and then another one where I'm going to actually sprinkle some salt on it with the liquid and then that'll be comparison for each fluid in each container and I apologize if you hear a noise in the background that is our parrot squawking upstairs and since I don't have a official YouTube studio 
you will. This is the best I got. That is also why you probably hear noise in the background, because that's my water heater and my furnace running. But sometimes you just gotta start off with what you got, and then you can work your way up. Also, I'm gonna be rinsing this off in between each thing so I don't cross-contaminate the results. Cause science! I'm just dabbing this on, dab onto the camera and onto the metal so the fluid stays on there. I'm gonna do that for each one. All right, everything is in its container now. Now after 20, about 24 hours, uh, we'll come back and see what results we get. I apologize if I sound like I'm sick because I am sick or getting over being sick. I started filming this and halfway through and ended up catching you know what. So I kind of just let this set to the side while I got better. I don't feel the hottest but I just wanted to get this done so it's done. <laughs> uh, so you can see what we got here vinegar, white vinegar, Greek salad dressing, apple cider vinegar and ammonia. The top three the colors pretty much are all the same even the different salts didn't make a huge difference. Uh, the Greek salad dressing it looks a lot darker than the rest but at the same time they're still wet uh, probably because of the oils and the dressing itself. It did produce uh, some cool colors and that was more of why I wanted to try just to see what would happen if it would do anything. Um, obviously I wouldn't pick that as a choice for a project to use as a patina source but it's always fun to try different things and experiment. Um, the two vinegars they're about the same regardless of the salt that was used. Uh, the coolest result I think is the ammonia. I didn't have any salt this is just the liquid itself and as you can see it'll focus it's a really almost like a not really aqua I don't know if that's the name I want to use or not it's a nice blue color though and it's really flat no high texture on it all it's a little flaky but if you put some sealer on it that would uh, come out nice I think and other than the fact that ammonia is a nasty smelling thing to work with it turned out pretty good and as far as salts go I would not use Epsom salts this one was probably the worst it almost looks like frosting or something like that the uh, it's just really almost like frosting on a frosted flake that's the way I could describe it it's really high and bumpy but it's not really a color that I would necessarily want my copper to look like so I would stay away from that and the other ones didn't really have that same result but this one did a little bit a little bit of flakes but the color's nice so it's kind of hard to pick up on this angle but so overall it turned out pretty good and also I do have these two chemicals that you can buy to produce Pratina. Uh, this one is a green, this is a blue, and here. And by comparison, I would say the ammonia has the best color. This is a lot more faded blue, and as far as that green goes, I would call that like your Statue of Liberty green patina. I don't really have any good 
green green. I think if I put a note, you can put multiple coats of this chemical on once one's dry and put it back on if that'll even zoom. But if you're looking for like a light green color, it is still pretty, but if you're looking for a drastic color, I can already see that's flaking off of there. But like I said, if you put sealer on it, like sealer like this I've used before, you just brush it on lightly and then it'll sort of like put in clear nail polish on or something to that nature a clear coat and it just seals it up and kind of holds it on together too so that's what we got out of that experiment I'm not surprised in the results that we got there wasn't much difference in colors but that's kind of why we experiment see what we can come up with and hopefully I saved you a trip to the grocery store and uh, give you some ideas if you want to do some patina in the future on your project so thanks for watching and hopefully we'll come up with some other cool ideas next time. See you later.